Hello. Um, today I'm going to be doing some recording, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm not going to be using any of the nice um, professional recording equipment that we have here. I'm going to be recording with these two phones. Um, now these both happen to be iPhones, but you can use any um, any two mobile phones. That's the important part. As long as you have two phones that have uh, audio recording capabilities and playback. Um, so on here, I'm using the um, the audio notes things that they have, um, and other manufacturers will have other things that uh, are very similar to this. Now the idea behind this is that we take our first phone and we use that as a bit like a tape machine. So if you imagine in the early 40s, 50s and even the 1960s, um, when people were recording to tape machines um, and they had limited track counts, so you could only have one sometimes. In fact, the early tape machines would only have one, uh, one track, so you could only record one thing at once, um, which is much the same as you can on a voice memo on here. So the idea is that you record a song or sorry, you record the part, the first part of your song. So we're going to be using a drum kit, or not a drum kit, a drum beat, as our uh, as our first part of our song. We record that onto phone number one, and then we play that back. So once we've recorded it and we're happy with it, we play it back, and then we record that onto phone number two. So phone number one is playing back. In this case, the drum beat. That's then recorded by phone number two, but at the same time, we're then playing live in the room alongside the phone, the next part of what we're going to record. So I'm going to record a guitar part on top of the drums. So this phone will have the original drum beat on it. This is playing it back. This phone will record the drum beat, plus what I'm playing live, which is going to be the guitar. So then on here, I will have a recording of the drum beat, as this phone hears it from this phone, plus to the guitar that I was recording at the time. I happen to be using two iPhones, but you can use one iPhone, one Samsung, or an Ericsson, and a whatever you want. As long as it's got an ability to play back and to record um, what it can hear. So I'll press record first. And play a little drum beat. I'm going to play this for about a minute. Okay, so that's the first bit done. So now if I play this back on phone number one. And play a little drum beat. I'm going to play this for about a minute. Okay, now we take phone number two. Do this one. I'm going to put that next to phone number one. And I'm going to pick up my guitar because I'm going to play the next part. Okay, now I'm going to add my guitar to it. Um, so what I've got is phone number two is here. Here's phone number one. So this is, this is going to play the drum beat that we've just recorded. This one is going to pick up the sound of this one, because it's next to it. And then at the same time, I'm going to play my guitar over the top. Um, we'll just see how we get on, shall we? Um, now, this is where it starts to get a bit more uh, in depth, because where you put these phones uh, and what instrument you use will make a difference. Um, if I want to hear more of the drum beat and less guitar, then I put the phone number one with the drum beat on it closer to this phone, this second phone. But if I want to make sure I want uh, that I can hear the guitar properly, I might need to move this one away from this phone um, and kind of balance the sound a little bit. And it's a little bit of trial and error, so we might need to record this a few times. The other thing is, uh, I'm using an electric guitar, but I'm, I'm, I'm unplugged. Um, and the reason that I'm doing that is I think that a acoustic guitar might be overpowering for all of this and you'd only ever hear the guitar and not the drum beat. So I'm using an electric guitar unplugged because you can still hear it. But hopefully it's not going to be as loud as, um, 
as the acoustic. You probably could do this with an acoustic, just make sure you play quite quietly or you might end up having a little bit of issues with it. Uh, okay, let's just try this then. So I'm going to press record on the phone number two first. Then I'm going to press play on phone number one with the drum beat, and then I'm going to play over the top. Okay, now press stop. So, I'm not sure if I've got enough guitar in here, so I'm just gonna play this back and see what we hear. So this is playing back on phone number two. Actually, there's a lot, isn't there? Okay. I'm gonna do that again, because I've played a little bit out of time. So let me just do that again. I was quite conscious of playing the guitar loud enough to get it heard. Uh, so I'm just going to go back on recording number one, the drums. So back to uh, zero. Uh, I'm going to delete that recording on phone number two. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Record on two, play on one. Next, we're going to add this. This is just a um, an old um, keyboard that I had lying around the studio, and I thought it would be quite fun to play this um, this on the on this recording. Um, the good thing about this keyboard is, of course, it's got a speaker. Now, I think this piano sound will be fine. I think it's a little bit too loud at the moment, so I'm just going to turn that down. So, I've got a little part that I've written, and I'm now going to record that. Now, we need to go back to phone number one now. Phone number two has got the recording that we've just done. So that's got the drums and the guitar on it. Now I'm going to press play on phone two, press record on phone one, so it'll be a new recording on phone one, and then I'm going to play this over the top. Now, I think I might need to move phone number one away from phone number two, or I think I might end up getting too much guitar and drums on this. Possibly. Although I have turned that down as well, so mm, again, it's a little bit trial and error. So um, let's see where we go. I'll move that phone just over there so you can see them both there. Just move around a little bit so you can see a bit better. Right. Okay. Phone number one is here. Phone number two is here. So get ready to press record on this one and then play on this one. You'll hear me talking. <laughs> record on two, play on one. That's the last recording. I'm going to play that back just to see what the levels are like, and then I think I'll do another recording. Record on two, play on one. That's the last recording. And you know what? That's actually, actually not that bad. I just need to play this a little bit better. So I'm going to delete that recording on phone number one and redo that. So I'll put the phone back 
around about where it was before. And now I'm going to, again, press record on phone number one, press play on phone number two, and record this over the top of that. Hold on to play on the one. Right, and now we have on the back on phone number one, we should have the guitar, the drums, and now the keyboard as well. Here's the moment of truth. What does this now sound like? So let's press play and have a listen. Record on two, play on one. Ignore that lot. Okay, there we go. I mean, that was really quick. Um, but it goes to show that you can have a little bit of fun with this. It does take a little bit of getting used to with the swapping the phones and remembering which phone is which, and which one you're up to. But of course, on most of these phones, you can label things if you have to anyway. Um, and the other thing to remember is, of course, this is not going to be a high fidelity recording. This is not going to be a fantastic sounding um, reproduction of what you're playing. It's just a little, little, little bit of fun. Um, and the other thing you will notice is that the hiss, the background hiss, obviously gets repeated and repeated and repeated as well as everything else that's being played. Um, one thing that would be cool to try, I think, is to um, record different uh, instruments in different places. So maybe if you want your guitar sound to sound quite roomy and reverby, maybe try recording that in your bathroom. However, remember that because you'll have both phones in there, um, or possibly have both phones in there. Whatever phone is recording the guitar part in the echoey room will also be recording the sound of the other phone, which will also be in the echoey room. So you will end up with the echo on everything else as well. So maybe that's one of the things to mess around with. Maybe can you get away with moving one of the phones out of the room so you can hear it, but then of course it wouldn't record onto it. So then you need to worry about, or maybe if I cover the phone, um, the playback phone, so that doesn't reverberate as much, but the sound still comes out. So it's picked up by phone two while I'm playing whatever I'm, um, whatever I'm recording. Uh, so there's all sorts of ways you can experiment and get this sound on sound recording that we've got here. Have fun guys. <laughs>